All right, hello everybody, welcome back to a Pokemon Sword and Shield Ranked Devils video. So today I'm here with the Halucha that I mentioned I was going to use yesterday. I was going to originally use it with Sylveon, in fact I literally bottle capped my Sylveon ahead of time just to, to use it. I tested it out and like, it's too easy to counter in the current meta where Togekiss is on 50% of all teams. So, because like, the redirect just like, follow me, just draws in quick attack and it ruins it and then like, fake out ruins it and stuff as well. But like, Indeedy allows it to still work, plus I have... Uh, like, Swords Dance and a plus two Thunder Punch, I think, KOs Togekiss from full HP. Like, unless it maxes or whatever. So that's dope. Uh, oh, okay, I max Lightning, specifically, I should say. But, uh, the only issue is, like, Togekiss is still a big threat to because Dazzling Gleam hurts a lot, and it kind of, you know, the spread move, so Redirect doesn't really work on it, but for Togekiss, I have Trick Room. So, yes, this is also on a Trick Room team, because, indeed, he's very good on Trick Room, and these Pokemon are very, very strong. And I was considering Appleton over Araquanid, but I want to try it with a Rack first because Wide Guard is very, very good. So, yeah, this is the team I'm running, and I will be back when I get into the first battle. All right, I'm back with the. Whoa. I'm back with the first battle, and they have a Girder. <laughs> uh, I don't entirely know the purpose of Girder, but I can see they didn't update its sprite this generation. <laughs> uh, I think against their team, Halucha has some potential. The biggest threat to that would be Whimsicott Tailwinding. Or Togekiss, I guess. I'm actually gonna go Trick Room, I think, on this one. It's, it seems safer to me. Uh, their counter to Trick Room is non existent. They don't have one. They can't counter, they, they can't stop it. If, indeed, if, I, if I have Indeed plus Hatterene. I was gonna do Dusclops, but I think Hatterene's a lot better in this situation because it's a lot, like, stronger. I guess they have Duraludon, but I have, I have uh, Babiria Berry. Oh, they have, they have Duraludon plus Togekiss, though. Hmm. That is very interesting. I'm gonna go with Dusclops, actually. Yeah, Duraldon's very scary. I'm gonna bring... Hmm... Araquanid. Araquanid, dude. Araquanid goes in. Duraldon's a bit of a threat. I think Snorlax is pretty good here, too. So, yeah. I'm not gonna bring Halucha for this one, because so, I just don't think it's very safe. Also, if you have suggestions for cool teams, put them in the comments, because, like... I've been, like, a rut for team building recently. We have the same eyes. That's dope. But I've been, like, a team building rut lately, and I have, like no idea what to use like i've been using the same pokemon over and over and over and over and over and over and over again like the guja the durant the the eldegoss the malamar i can't keep using those over and over because i'm running out of ideas for thumbnails if i'm being totally honest so i need other pokemon to use i'm thinking about trying vanillux vanillux and i really want to use it with glaceon because glaceon is my favorite pokemon and i know it has potential i think the uh the oceana uh international it finished today and one of the people in the junior uh, finals was using a Glaceon. It was dope. Uh, obviously, like you know, it was it was it was it, they didn't use it very often because they had other Pokemon that were better. But they use it for certain situations. It was mostly there for freeze dry. I think it was maybe Scarf or something. But it was cool regardless. Uh, they're probably going for a Rock Slide Flinch here, right? Um, the follow me is pretty obvious. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just to be actually. I don't- Oh, I didn't really need to lead in DD, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I mostly did it to prevent, like, Whimsicott Taunt. It occurs to me that uh, Indeedee plus Dusclops is very bad, because it's very passive, and I can't really do much with it. But I'm just going to Psychic this Togekiss, and I'm going to Trick Room. I don't see how they stop it. Uh, they Sword Stance. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> Guess who's getting burned? <laughs> oh, Lord. Psychic on the Togekiss, because it's dope. I wonder if they went with Dazzling Gleam? Special Defense Drop, let's go. Dazzling Gleam, okay. That does not do very much, so I'm good. That was a crown on Indeedee, that's actually surprising. <laughs> and Trick Room is up. So I'm in a phenomenal spot now. Uh, I kind of want to keep Dusk Ops alive, but I'm very scared of what they're going to do, so I do want to burn them. I'm going to Psychic the Togekiss again. And I am slower than both their Pokemon, I think. I think, no, I think Dazzling Gleam went, no, I think Indeedee is slower or faster than Togekiss. They're probably bulky then. Actually, based on the damage, they probably definitely are, because I was in terrain. I'm going to burn the uh, Excadrill, which, they could follow me here. They did. Okay, smart. Smart, 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 but they did not max, which is good for me. They could Rock Slide or Earthquake. They're going to Earthquake. Ooh, that's a bit of a yikes. Oh, no. Yo, wait. This might be very, very bad. <laughs> this is gonna hurt a lot. I really needed that burn. I don't think I'm gonna get it now. Although I do 
get a switch into Snorlax. Oh, but that sucks because I can't kill the Togekiss with Indeedee now. Oh, no. Hmm. Does Wide Guard block Earthquake? Doesn't matter. I don't have damaging attacks on my Dusclops. Uh. Hmm. They'd probably go for Rock Slide. Which would l allow me to stall out. So yeah, if I bring out a Rackman, their only choice is to Dynamax. Which is their play here. Their play here is Dynamax for sure. If they max Rock Ball, they kill my Araquanid. In fact, I don't even see a situation where they wouldn't do that, I guess, I should say. Wait, I can just like... No, Dusclops is slower. Ah! Oh my god. I'm gonna protect Araquanid. And... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wide guard, and I'm gonna try to burn this again. They max. Ah, oh, shoot, dude. Shoot. I should have protected. It was a safer play. I know it was a safer play. Dusk would have been okay. Oh no, they're gonna follow me again. I should have attacked. I still have Snorlax in the back. I do need to keep that in mind. But this is really bad. Because I didn't attack. Oh, wait, they didn't follow me, though. Or did they? They could have. Mm, no. Yes, they did. Uh, bad positioning. I haven't used Trick Room in ages, so I'm not really, like, really used to it. That was entirely my bad. And Iraq when it dies. Yeah, I lost this game. I made a severe misplay. A severe misplay. This stupid Togekiss, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. I, it occurs to me that I don't actually have a counter to on my team. Like a, like a decent one. I guess a rack when it hits really hard, so it's not like the worst, but... I'm in a very bad spot. Were they... Sandrush? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, so the Togekiss will die next turn regardless of what I do. But I don't think I can warrant a Max... Or a Belly Drum. Unless I ally switched. How many more turns of Trickman do I have? One more, right? Two! Girder. I think my only choice is to belly drum because of the follow me. Alright, let's try it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it all. They may actually target Dusclop soon. No, probably not because Dusclop can't really do anything on its own, but we'll see. This, I think, is the only possible play I have. And I don't even know if it's a good one, so. I go, like, hit the Togekiss' belly and just kill it? <laughs> that should work if they follow me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, my hope here is that I somehow keep both my Pokemon alive this turn, but that's gonna hurt a lot. Nah, I can't win. My hope was that I, uh, kept, uh, Dusclops and Snorlax alive and could have pain split next turn on whatever they brought in, but that was wishful thinking. It's like, even Snorlax would have died to that. It's okay, though. It's okay. If I ever got the burn off, that would have been great, but they, they followed me at the right times, which obviously makes sense. So... Oh, they have Girder. Okay. Yeah, well... No, I don't stand a chance, because, like... I could replenish the Girder, but then I just die to uh, Excadrill, right? I'll try it. My goal here is to get the Berry back. I think my only chance is to get the Berry back, and even then I have no idea. I think that's my only chance, though. Because I'm pretty bulky with Snorlax, you know? The Girder might- no, it's not gonna live, never mind. If this is the ultimate comeback with Snorlax, I'm hyped, but it's probably not, <laughs> so... 
Uh, 410 HP. Let's go! I made the right play, at least. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, obviously I did not predict the max guard, but I got the berry back. Let's go. I learned that the animation determines if you get the berry back. That's cool. Um. Do I... No, wait, they lose their max here, right? I think so, right? Because they used guard, steel spike, and rock fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duraladon. I'm not worried about Duraladon. I'm focusing the extra drill. I have my berry. I may have just pulled off the ultimate comeback. This will actually boost my special defense, which will help me even more against Duraladon next turn. Yo! How much damage? <sighs> berry? This is going to be a close battle. Please, Draco. <sighs> live. I ate that up. Special defense boost combined with their special attack drop. I might just live next turn. I don't replenish them. I Okay, if they were Sash, I would have cried. Okay, I will not replenish them because it's not worth the chance that are buried if I die. If they get a crit, I'll be so devastated. Now this is why you use Snorlax right here. Oh, the Sandstorm. What if that cost me the game? And I don't I won't even know it. Screw it, dude. Don't have protect. You know yourself best. Draco, live. <sighs> yes! Good game! Let's go! Oh, they have the life orb. Duh. Actually they could have protect then. Okay. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> uh in fact the special defense boost from the Max Quake probably would let me live next turn anyway. So cool! Let's go! This is why you use Gigantic Max Snorlax. Let's go. This was supposed to be a Halucha video. This is about to be a GMAX Snorlax video again. Let's go. What a Pokemon, dude. This is why I use this Pokemon. Let's go. Literally the entire reason. I always try and put it on teams if I can because it's so good. Even on, like outside of Trick Room, it's just so bulky. All right, let's, where's my rank at? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Where are we at, though? I'm even bad. All right, I will back when I get into All right, I'm back battle. with the second battle. Yeah, yeah, second battle. So, they have a team. <laughs> uh, it looks like it wants me to punch it. In fact, I think Halusha plus Indeed is a really solid lead here. Uh, it kind of goes in. The scariest thing is Leafeon, I would say. But I'm faster than Leafeon. Uh, okay, no, the scariest thing is Duraludon. In fact, it's incredibly scary. I'm going to hope they don't leave with Duraldon, but if they do, I might lose. I'm going to bring my safety picks of... Dude, a Raccoonid would kind of go in here, <laughs> but I don't want to do that, because it would just turn off the sun, it would do a lot of damage with, like, Max Bug and stuff. A Raccoonid goes in here. In fact, it might... It's not better than Snorlax. Okay, my best Pokemon here would be Ndidi, Dusclops, Snorlax, or maybe... In, yeah, maybe Ndidi, Dusclops, Snorlax, and Raccoonid, again. But, like, I want to use this Halucha, and I think this might be the best chance I have. I'm going to bring Araquanid and Dusclops. In case I get Rec turn one. If they lead Duraldon, uh, I'm going to Helping Hand Close Combat it. <laughs> like, not even going to set up. I'm going to Helping Hand Close Combat and do as much damage as I can before I die. Don't even need to follow me. I'm just going to destroy it. I don't even know if that kills. I'm actually gonna get a calc hit. Hold up. They did lead with it. Um, Duraladon. Halucha, helping hand, close combat. Does not one shot a Duraladon. Oh wait, that's Dynamax. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey bro, don't Dynamax, okay? Do me a favor. Hey, do me a favor and don't Dynamax, okay? They're probably just gonna heat wave with the nine tails. Do me a favor and don't Dynamax. I will be so sad. Cause I am ready. I'm ready to watch this thing drop. I'm ready to watch this thing drop. It maxed. God dang it, dude. Maybe this is the nine tails. <laughs> Maybe it's the nine tails. No, dude. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get big damage off regardless, but 
That's kind of upsetting. Because now I have one Pokemon left, and it's an Araquanid versus... Wait, did I bring Snorlax or Araquanid? I hope I brought Snorlax. I hope I'm not that stupid. Maybe this is do more than I thought. Nope, they're bulky. Okay. Because that was Calc on a max HP one, and they are max HP because that's the Calc, so... Hypnosis. Stupid. Oh, wait, I thought it was the terrain. Never mind, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Halucha! Imagine the special defense boost, let me live that. Alright. Now I have to make a play. Wait. Do they just Hypnosis, but also Electric Terrain? I wonder what that would have done. They are Life Orb, okay. That may have mattered, who knows. I need Trick Room up right now. I also need them to die to their own, uh... <laughs> Uh, does Nuscloth live? It might live. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I've been in this exact same position before. I have, like, deja vu right now. A wide lens hypnosis and you still miss? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna redirect the Ninetales is whatever it's about to use. And I'm gonna try my hardest to trick room. I'm gonna try my darndest to trick room. It's my only play. I have no other option. Thank you! Oh. They can probably reverse Trick Room, huh? Bet you they can. They are not confident in their ability to kill because they do not have Dark Pulse. Makes sense. Oh, good god. That was a crit. That had to have been. Yeah, oh my god. I would have been so salty. Oh, I would have been so salty. I'm about to pain split that Whimsicott, though. But the pain split psychic it right now. I don't care if I die. <laughs> I'll take it. I'd rather have a DD Araquanid than I would have Dusclops Araquanid. I'm about to delve into this stupid Whimsicott right now. Watch this. Yeet. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yeet. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sad they maxed turn one. Obviously, it was a very safe play, but god dang it. <laughs> they are probably going for Trick Room right now. Which gives me hope that this KOs. Please KO. No, this is not the in-terrain. Dang it. Oh man. Because that Trick Room's gone. Or are they Moon Blasted? Nope, they definitely did not. Well, no, they, they would still go last. They probably Trick Room though. Oh, they're actually attacking Didi here. Yikes. Yeah, I think this battle is just about over. Who runs Trick Room on Whimsicott? I haven't done that in like two months. Oh wait, I have a berry. Right, and that's Ash. Probably should be. Trick room? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. They're gonna target into Death Club, so I don't have a choice. Like, I can't follow me. Um. They're in terrain. Their best move here is probably Draco Meteor. They're not maxed anymore. What if I protect? No, I can't switch out. There's no. I only have a Pokemon left. And they have to train up as well. I'm gonna attack this Duraludon with everything I have. I'm gonna try and Trick Room, but it's not gonna work. I probably should have followed Meat actually, because the t the Whimsicott can't attack. Oh, they have Taunt. Cool. Definitely should have followed Meat. Definitely should have followed Meat. Steel Beam. Okay, I wasn't living anyway. Goodbye. I lived it, actually. That's depressing. That would have been the... P oh, I should have followed Mead. It's not over. That was the Duraludon. It's not over. It is not over. It is not over. However, my Dusclops is now either struggles or switches. And I might have to go with the struggle option. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sandaconda. God, I would love to will o wisp you. I'm curious as to what they're doing. Or what like what Sandaconda is meant to do. Uh I'm gonna protect and struggle. What do they do? What do they do? So Rackwind can do really, really well here. In fact. In fact. What was a weird animation? What was that? What is what is Santa Cana trying to do? High horsepower? 
I might have just won the game. I might have just won the game. Don't mind if I do. Because I'm going to hit the Ninetales. That way the Sandspit doesn't activate. Um, yeah, I'm going to hit the Ninetales. KO it. Yeah. I might have just won the game. Unless they... They can't burn me. Never mind. Unless they burn me with Heatwave, but they can't. So, I'm going to follow me. To prevent any rock moves from hitting me. Like, like a... Like a Stone Edge. <laughs> it probably gets Rock Slide, though. But I should live one. Well, can I live two? Maybe this is the bigger threat. I, I don't think I can live two. What if it's Sash? I think Whimsicott was sashed. Yeah, they had Trick Room. They were probably sashed. For sure. This is the this is the advantage of saving your Dynamax, by the way. This right here, the ultimate advantage of saving your Dynamax. Like, this is the way. This is the way to do it. Dude, Snorlax. I can't I can't get over like winning game one with Snorlax. Like, that was crazy. Literally, a, the comeback of a century. It was insane. That is why you use Snorlax, for sure. Great Pokemon. They actually protected nine tails. Dope. Thank you so much, good sir. I made the correct play and I could not be happier. They high horsepower. Works for me. It was a very obvious follow me, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I could have protected, I think. No, I protected I protected the previous turn. Never mind. Goodbye. Adios. See you later. Bye. It, they were sashed. What the heck was the Whimsicott then? Bro. Sandspit though. They weren't Sandspit. What? Then why are you Sash? Well, am I more scared of it? Or the Ninetales now? Probably it, right? Yeah. Because it has rock moves, it could hit me twice with the one. Oh wait. Right, the Ninetales is that stupid set, dude. Well, there's my guaranteed turn to sleep, and they have Rock Slide, which hits me for a decent chunk. I literally have to kill the Ninetales now. But then if I kill the Ninetales, I die to the, the Sandaconda. I need to break through. I, I need to wake up, kill Sandaconda. I'll be at around probably like 100 HP, 50 HP after Dynamax goes away. No, I think I lost. I do resist fire, though. I do resist fire. And it's in the rain. This is like two. Ten. Ten. Ten is okay, too. Rock slide. Don't be a crit. That was a crit. God dang it. No, it wasn't. I'm... I lost. Well... No, I lost. Yeah, Max is gone. Shoot, dude. That's so lame. What if I'm at... Wait, 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 but wait, there's more. What if I stall out all of their moves? I had hope. I had hope. But I was gonna say, what if I stall out all of their moves with wide guard? <laughs> like, you know, I'm dead. Never mind. I hate that. I hate sleep. I hate sleep so much. Like, I understand that I use Eligos and Malamar, which the entire strategy there is to sleep and then spam superpowers. But God, I hate sleep so much. I hate sleep so much. It's so frustrating, because, like, it's very RNG-based. Granted, I, I'm guilty of using it, so I can't really blame anyone, but... God dang it. Yes, I would love to see what item was on the stupid Whimsicott. What was it? Babiri Berry. That actually... Why would you... Oh my god! That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Yo, that's dope. Not even okay. Your weird spreads cool. Sand Veil. Oh, your G Max. Why? For what purpose? Where's your? I guess trapping isn't always like. For what purpose though? On. Oh my God! This is an annoying Nine Tail set. That's actually not bad though. This is interesting. Uh. Cool. Cool team. Cool team. Dope. Well, let's see where my rank is after that unfortunate loss. Oh, and I mean, I'm actually happy with how it's been going, though. Halucha hasn't really done anything, but it's okay. All right, well, I will be back when I get to the third and All final. right, I am back with the third and final battle, and I mentioned before wanting to use, uh... Wanting to use Vanillox, and there it is. 
I'm curious about the giggle. If I had to guess, it's probably gravity. But I don't know for what purpose. Maybe it's also a part of a trick room team with Delmize and Mimikyu. Um, I do have trick room myself, so they probably have Mimikyu as an anti-trick roomer. So what if I just bring like Ndidi and Halucha, right? Yeah, what if I just do that and lose? Um, actually, it kind of goes in, not gonna lie. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do an ED Halucha. I'm gonna bring my good old reliable Snorlax in the back. <laughs> you bud? Here we go. Uh, and... <laughs> I think I want Hatterene. They can set trick on its own and it's, they can hit stuff on their team. So, yes, I want Hatterene. In fact, indeed, Hattering could have been a pretty good lead here. I didn't even think about that. It's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. I really want a grilled cheese right now. I'm hungry, sorry. Alright, let's go. Let's go, bro. What you leading with? Vanillux, uh, Gigalith. Counterintuitive, I know. Okay, I was about to say, no way. Is that shiny? It is. My low tick, huh? Hmm. My low tick, huh? They could muddy water. Oh, they're just they're just gonna 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 Okay, how much you wanna bet they're not sashed? I want them to not be sashed. Yo. Boy Christ. Uh Ah, they're gonna double blizzard. Do I have a weather setter? Nope. I don't want to max. I'm just gonna try and KO. I'm gonna helping hand. Uh, I don't have time to kill close. Wait, I do. Hold up. Helping hand close combat does sixty percent to a fully physical defense of my Lodic. So hit that thing. Hit that thing, because they're just going to double blizzard. I'm not going to survive. So there's no reason to, like, set up and max and stuff. So, die, fool. They're sashed. Of course they are. Of course they are. What if I just max, like, Flare with Hatterene right now? Yep, Hallucha goes down. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. It's such a high chance to freeze with this set. I hate it. Intellion does the same thing, but, like, better. So, don't freeze me. Please don't freeze me. That has so much... Why did that do more damage? Than the Stab Vanillax? What the heck is that set? Why did it do so much from the Milotic? Are you spec? It specs. It just specs Milotic. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna get Trick Room up with this. Oh, dude, if I brought Raquanid... Ooh, wide guard though. I'd get freeze dried. Um, I'm gonna go Snorlax. I think. Oh, I wish I had a spread. Ooh, but I won't live long enough to use it at all. This is the struggle. I think I have to save Snorlax if I'm being honest. I can't get a chance to set up right now. I, I can't even get Trick Room up right now. And they probably have the Delmize in the back anyway. So if I do, I just die. I'm going to protect Ndidi because it doesn't do anything here. And... Alright. Vanillux to a Hatter. Uh, Blizzard does 41%, but the Milotic does more, right? <sighs> There's a chance they live. This is important. I have to get this off. I have to. I have to. I have no choice but to get Trick Room up right now. I have no choice at all. If I get Trick Room up, there's a chance. You can't miss. I, uh, I was about to say miss. You can't. How much damage? Uh, okay, that's, that's what I count. Please live. Please, I think it's specs. I don't think I'm gonna live. No. 
God dang it, dude. Ah, that was a crit. Hold up. I'm salty now. I wouldn't have been salty before, but now I'm salty because it was a critical hit. That was unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. I also hate the stupid... Oh, God, I hate the Vanillax. I'm using a Vanillax next time. Believe it. Okay, don't, don't, don't. Nope, nope, nope. Don't quote me on it. I would like to. Vanillax plus uh, Specs and Talion would be insane. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I do want to make that one day. But we'll see. It gets very countered by like, Torkoal. If I had Torkoal on this team, it'd be over. Uh, I'm going to Helping Hand. Max Replenish. I have to do something about this Vanillix, dude. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm just going to hit this stupid thing. Stupid Milotic as hard as I can, because I think it's doing more damage based on what I did in DD, like turn one. Can Snorlax pull it back like it did game one? Haha, -ha, probably not, probably not. But we'll try it. We'll see what we can do. Big damage right now. Except you're gonna go last, so just don't get frozen. I'm gonna get frozen. I haven't gotten frozen once this game, I'm gonna get frozen. Don't do it. Let's go. No freezes, let's go. Replenish, even though I didn't use the berry. But if I did, I would have gotten it back because there's berries on the ground. Oh, no, 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 it would have bounced to the ground if I would have gotten it, right? I think. I have no idea how it works. Okay, well, my little is dead. It's progress. The hail goes away in like a turn or two. So Vanillix is less of a threat if the hail is gone. Because like, Blizzard isn't going to be quite as usable. Like, it could miss, is what I'm saying. If it misses, that's very good for me. What do you got? 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 What, do you got? what, do you got? what, is, what is this? Do you remember our Raglanid? Oh, Delmize? I think I might, might be faster than you. Am I faster than you? I'm going to hit you with this Max Darkness, though. Protect. Do it. Make me lose. Make me lose. So, I still have my berry. i got to keep that in mind. I actually hope they bring me to my berry right now so I can replenish next turn if I get a chance to get it back. They maxed it. Duh, they have max. I forgot. And this is not going to one-shot because I am not plus six <laughs> at all. If I tried to be plus six, I would probably have died. Well, let's see how much damage we can do. Are they weak this policy? Are they faster? Are they slower? Let's see. I have no idea what speed Delmize is. Does it just go above the barrier? <laughs> what the heck? Blizzard? Don't freeze me. Thank you. Wait, can they even freeze me in the terrain? They can, I think. That does not even do half. It's over. It's over. This is about to be a stab max steel spike, dude. A steel worker boosted max steel spike. Yup. Goodbye, Snorlax. It was nice knowing you. Actually, Barry, but a little too late. And their defense rose? Yeah, no. I was like, maybe I can get a high roll, but nope, that's defense raise. I'm gonna replenish. That wouldn't do anything, though. Actually, it would, because Larry ignores defense boosts. I'm gonna replenish the Vanillux. I'm probably gonna get frozen here, because that's just my luck, but don't do it. Thank you. Can you even freeze a GMX Pokemon? Or Dynamax Pokemon? I don't think so. Please give me the berry back. I hate you. <sighs> Alright, I got it. Let's go. Hype. I didn't realize when the animation happened. Is that enough to live, though? And can they just not attack me with their other Pokemon next turn? <sighs> that is enough. No, it's not. Hail. Dang it. Well, hail goes away this turn, so I don't die. I'm so mad they were sashed. <laughs> Obviously, it's like the highest chance. Like, it's the not highest chance. It's the most used item on Vanillax. It's the highest like used item in general in Vanillax because I guess that makes sense. But I personally would like Scarfed. I would run Scarfed Vanillax next to like, next to Specs and Talion. That seems pretty good to me. Also, they have Gigalith, so like I lost Sandstorm. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Sturdy. 
Um, I'm gonna Larry at you <laughs> through this defense boost. It's my KO. But probably won't see because the max darkness turn one didn't. So I'll hitch it. Not even close. Jesus, dude. Well, I probably, even if I got Trick Room up, would have lost to, to, to Delmise. Probably. I, I'd be willing to bet. No, maybe not, because then I wouldn't have been able to kill the Vanillox before with Ndidi. Because I would have killed him with Psychic, and then they would have only gotten the one Blizzard off, which means I would have lived it with the Belly Drum, and I would have gotten it up, and then I could have redirected and KO- Yeah, okay, maybe not. Um, check their battle team. Um, why? What? Oh, I guess they're that scared of missing? <laughs> Uh, wait. I wanted to check the... Specifically where... Yes, this is Choice Specs, and this is Choice Band? Choice Band did Explosion. Okay. I guess it's to go with Delmise or Mimikyu? Iron Ball. That explains why they're so much slower. Ally Switch. Okay, I hate you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call it there, though. So, thank you for watching. I'm gonna quickly check my rank, though. Call it, it was a very good session. I the bad the battles were close enough. I would say the the second one was very very close. I'm pretty sure, right? If I lost, right? Did I lose? It was the dude with the Duraludon, right? I had Arachnid. Yeah, I'm pretty, I, I lost. Get slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yes. I'm gonna call it there. So thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all this stuff, and I'll see you all next time.